Hey, what's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today I wanted to do a video showing and explaining how I choose to carry my paracord. And I choose to carry it in a fast rope design. I choose to carry it in this fast rope design for a few reasons. And one, because as you can see, once it's in its finished state, it's really neat, it's really tight. I'm really not in jeopardy of getting the snag on anything. There's about 40 feet in here. You can definitely do this with much longer length. It would take longer, but the point is um, this pack's really nice. It can go on the side of a pack. It can go on the outside of a pack. You can actually, if you wanted to, you could clip this to a carabiner. I could pick a loop, put this through a carabiner, attach it to the outside of my pack. Um, and you're really is not in jeopardy of this coming really loose. But if you were concerned with that, the way this fast rope works, I will demonstrate it on a smaller scale with some high vis paracord, is that this is the end. And I just have an overhand knot in here right now. But if you real, really were worried about this coming undone because you did want to potentially secure it to your belt, a carabiner, I could find this core corresponding strand that's running on the inside of this by pulling this out a little bit, finding the loop that moves right here. And then as you pull on this, this knot would come in this way and then this would secure this loop. Just give a little more added security. But why this works really nice, let's take this carabiner off, is that to undo this, if I want just a length of rope and I want to cut some off or I just want the whole thing to deploy this, what I do is just grab the tag end that I have the loop in right here and just start pulling and it just starts coming out. Once I get the last one out, then it's just the bunch. Just undoing the pigtail. Like I said, that's about 40 feet. I'm just gonna throw this out of the way for now. So to do this, it's really easy. With a, obviously um, a smaller section of rope, it'd be a little bit easier to do. If, if you are gonna use a big section, what you could do is just, for demonstrative purposes, uh, you could just take two sticks, could pop these in the ground, if the ground will permit here. And I have a smaller section. I'm gonna do it in my hand because I like to carry smaller sections. But basically, if I wanted to do this, I would just start to weave this around like this. Kind of alternating, if you can see that. And continue this till I get it, most of it bunched up. until I, I had a good hunk and then I left enough excess to actually wrap around the whole part. But I'm not going to do it. I don't need it for this smaller section. Like I said, for my 40 foot, it would work pretty nice to do that. I don't need to do it. But as I do this in my hand, what I'm going to do is just do it between my thumb and my pinky finger. Leave a little bit of a tag end here, go around my thumb, and then just weave like this. So I think I probably have enough, and this just comes with trial and error. You can see I'm leaving this about this section to be able to wrap around what's in my hand, and that's just kind of trial and error. You're sort of once you do this enough, if you use this design, you sort of be able to eyeball how much you need and how much is in your hand. Sometimes there's sometimes you leave too much. Sometimes there's not enough to get the whole way around the length of it, but <clears throat> that should be good there. We'll try it and see what it looks like. And then at that point, I'm just going to hold the bunch and pinch it. And then get it in here, start at one end. Take my working end. Go around it once, pinch it. This is kind of hard to do because the gloves are in the way and it's kind of cold. But basically at this point, then I'm just going to work my way around like this. And you don't want to do it too tight. 
that you can't pull it loose when you when you want to use it when you need it I can tell you right now it's already not enough <clears throat> it was. Either way, we're going to do it and see how it finishes. I've been using this method for a while. I really like it. So if you have any other methods that you like to keep your paracord in, ones that you're actually going to be using, I know there's a lot of cool different sort of weaves and designs. You can carry a whole bunch of paracord with you, but I choose to use this because if I'm going to use it, it's really easy and it, uh, it packs really nice. Once I get down to the end, I got this little bit of tag. I'm just going to kind of do it here, leave the last coil a little loose, go underneath it. then just pull it tight and like I was mentioning before if I really want to secure this look at the other end I'm going to pull on the end look on the other end to see which loop is what which one wants to move so it's this one so I could anchor off this one and then put a I could put a knot in here overhand or just a little Johnny like here that way when I pull on this it's going to keep that secure. It's not going to be able to pull through if I wanted to carry this. And then to deploy it, let's pull my tag end. And it comes out pretty neat. Nice and neat. That's all there is to it, the fast rope. Really simple, really easy. For, me for reasons I mentioned er earlier why I like to use this. Again, if you have any other types of uh, ways of carrying paracord that you like, let me know. Please leave a comment. If you like this way, let me leave a comment as well. Remember to check out blackoutdoors.com. Check us out on Instagram or Facebook. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.